In this video, I'm going to do something that I used to really enjoy. I'm going to take a wide angle shot of a region of the sky in order to frame a really cool deep sky object. I used to run my Nikon DSLR sitting on top of my Celestron 6SE using a piggyback mount. In this way, I could capture wide regions of the sky with the wide angle lens on the Nikon while at the same time capturing cool objects like galaxies with the Celestron. I'm going to try this again tonight, but this time I'm going to use my 135mm Samyang or Rokinon lens paired with an ASI 294MC Pro cooled camera using a dual band filter to bring out nebulosity in the wide angle shot of the sky. My name is Chris and welcome to my channel. James from the DSL Imager channel on YouTube recently did a really awesome video where he processed an image that he had captured of the cave nebula. He processed this in the Hubble palette and the outcome looked really fantastic. I'm going to post a link to James's channel and to his video in the description below. If you haven't checked it out, you really should. At the end of his video, James challenged everyone to image the cave nebula. Now with my sky and my equipment, I honestly couldn't hope to compete with James, but his challenge gave me an idea. What if I took a wide angle shot to frame the cave nebula within its region and then a close up shot using my six inch telescope? I think that would be pretty cool. So James, challenge accepted. Now as it happens, the cave nebula labeled SH2-155 from the Sharpless catalog or Caldwell 9 from the Caldwell catalog happens to sit in the constellation of Cepheus. And as I later found out, it sits fairly close to the Bubble Nebula, which I recently captured. And as it happens, the constellation Cepheus happens to be the first astrophotography picture I've ever taken. And that was using an old school film camera for an astronomy course I took in university. Cepheus sits pretty close to Polaris. It's one of the closer constellations to Polaris in the sky, which makes the Cave Nebula a challenging target for me to shoot, because with a wedge, my scope would be articulated backwards in order to be able to track the object. The cave nebula sits in a field of nebulas, or a complex of nebulas. That is about 2,400 light years away. The bubble nebula also happens to sit fairly close by, which is something I didn't realize until after I took the wide field image, looked in the bottom left hand corner, and lo and behold, there's M52, the open star cluster, and the bubble nebula. How cool is that? Now on my first night of shooting, it was just my bad luck. It was a day after the full moon, but I set up my scope anyway since I was pointing back towards Cepheus and I let it run with the wide field broken on lens. Now clouds rolled in and rolled out and it was a little bit gusty and I later realized that my polar alignment was off, which led to problems with dithering. So the wide angle shot of the nebula is not as clean as it could have been. But this is such a cool region of sky that I'm going to have to get back to it at some point with more time. Now, the next day, the weather was not that great. But the day after, the skies cleared for a little while again. And this time, I was able to capture a close-up of the cave nebula itself with my Celestron 6SE. This capture really could have used some more integration time as well, which unfortunately I did not have. My post-processing, as usual, was done in Cyril in order to remove the background, remove the green noise, and do a little bit of the basic stretching, which Cyril is really good at. And from there, I did additional processing of both the wide field view and the close-up of the cave nebula within GIMP. I enjoyed capturing this wide angle and the close-up. And it's about time I started doing that more often. The wide angle really puts the whole region in perspective. And sometimes you can't beat a close-up view of a really awesome object. Now, I've mentioned before that I've got some fun projects that I'm working on for myself. And one of them is to catalog constellations using wider angles and focus in on smaller and smaller regions in order to capture what each constellation has to offer for amateur astronomy and astrophotography. And capturing this nebula region within Cepheus is really motivating me to continue with that. Now, if you haven't tried capturing wider angle shots to frame your deep sky objects, I urge you to do so. At the very least, it'll put into perspective what you're doing to all those friends and relatives we try to share our hobby with. Until next time, 
Thanks for watching and clear skies.